Now speed... Oh. Oh, that's a massive rock right there. Well, hello there, everybody. My name is Trey Riggs, and welcome back to The Long Drive. So, in the last episode, we found this insane workshop that was just completely full of cars. Now, I wanted to use today's episode to choose which car we should go with from here. So, we're not going to go and explore more of the world in this episode, but we're rather just going to make sure that all of these cars are in grade A shape, and then we're going to take all of them for a spin, see which one we like better, and I'm going to need you guys to help me choose the right one for us. So, leave a comment down below with a favorite car that you have once we are done testing all of these and I'll see what the masses want. Oh god, can we just like... I just want to get rid of some of these bunnies here. So you guys get to choose which car we choose and while you're down there leaving a comment don't forget to hit the like button just below the video because it helps me out a bunch so let's get straight into the testing well, as soon as i'm done clearing out this rabbit plague that is you know what i had an even better idea what if we just take this first spin and just run down some rabbits while we test the cars so i think at the moment my favorite might be this one I just kind of like the front of it. It looks quick. Or maybe this one. I, I honestly don't really know. So we're going to have to see. I think these two are the same. Yep. So it's two different cars that we have here. Now, the main difference is probably going to be in the engine. So these two carry the same engine. And then this one carries a different one. They're both quite rusty and not in too good of a shape. This one does not have an engine. And this one has the same one as those out there. Now, the car that we are running at the moment is in a pretty good shape. So we're going to use that as the baseline. I just took off the rear wheels because I needed it to move the bus but down here we have a very very efficient engine and i'm i'm really been liking this car but i just feel like it's it's time that we get something new the first car we will be testing is this old hunk junk right here this guy is super rusty and not looking too good but it might be a surprise it also has what looks to be the smallest engine of all of them so i'm honestly not expecting too much here but you never really know it might be a pleasant surprise so let's get it on the road we should have enough water to just take it for a spin and we also got a little a bit of gas in here but not, not not too much let's see the first thing we will need to know here is just like how good is it it is it when it comes to running down rabbits so let's just see uh wait, did that thing not die oh it did well that was actually that was actually rather good now speed oh um so yeah i didn't really plan for this to happen Oh no, we forgot to close something. Okay, we forgot to close probably the most important part of this, which is the coolant, which is not so good. <laughs> Let's just mount that again and better late than never to close it. Oh, we lost, I think we lost everything. Yeah, okay, so everything is emptied out of this. So we're just gonna leave that there and just agree that that's not the car for us. Now we just have a stupidly long run back. Oh, and here's a rabbit coming right at us. Can we just agree not to do this, please? Like, just there. Thank you so much. All right, let's get back into the house. So, yeah, this is going to take some time. Uh. Now, for the next car here, we just have to be somewhat cautious about which one we choose because this one has a weird mixture of all sorts of things in the engine. The rest of them don't really have too much oil in the engine, but they do have some. I'm just hoping that we can find something in here to refill the engine. Or maybe we should just pray that a mixture of oil, alcohol, and diesel will be enough to lubricate this one. So, let's just see how much fuel do we have. Oh, almost six liters. That should be more than enough. Perfect. Right, let's take this for a spin. So, just like before, first test will be the bunny run over test. Let's see what this... Okay, that was rather efficient, but a quite a bumpy ride once we run it over. Which I'm not, I'm not liking that too much. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that. Oh, let's just see. That was a good, solid road kill, and no bumps. So definitely a candidate as well. This thing is easily pulling to 100. Uh, we just gotta get it out on the road here. Lovely, and try not to flip it this time. 120. Okay, I'm seeing good potential in this right now. And there we made it to 140. 150. We have to remember that the current car that we're driving easily runs 160. Now, this thing does not look like it's very pleasant about going more than 150 plus minus a bit. Uh, let's just give it a few more meters. You know what? Nope. No more than 150. The thing is, I'm really liking the looks of this car. And that also counts for something. Let's turn around and get back. I also think the engine is slowly dying on us at the moment. Okay, and just as I say that, yeah. 
I think we overheated it a bit. I just felt that we were losing speed, and then I looked behind us, and I see that we were throwing this huge smoke trail behind us. Oh, and judging by the leg spike that we just had, well, then I think all of the stuff that we need... Oh, it's still here. Lovely. Oh, let's just jump out over here and see what happened. So we lost a bit of water. We still have our oil, which is good. And I'm still hearing a bunch of bunnies out here. So I'm just going to shoot some more of them. Well, red car seems to be in a decent shape. Now, of course, we can't just make this all about performance. We also have to make it about looks. The red car out here is actually decently beautiful already. It's not too bad of a shape. And I mean, with a bit of brushing and a bit of sponging, well, then we can actually make this look rather good and we'll have a nice looking car. Alternatively, I'm, I'm really liking the front of this one. It's really Lada-ish and that's super dope. So I don't know if we should go for this one. I feel like this one is missing the mo most parts at the moment, so I just want to turn this into an actual car and see what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and just borrow the engine from our current car here and quickly check the fuel levels of this one. 1.1 liter of gas, so this should actually be ready to drive now. But before we do that, let's just see if we can put this into a little bit of a better shape. I don't think this is the hood that's meant to be on there. Let's see if we can go find a hood somewhere. So there are a bunch of different hoods lying around, but I just don't feel like any of them are the right ones. That's definitely not it either. <laughs> then we got this one lying around. Let's see if that's any better of a fit. Oh, well, there it is. Lovely. Just going to try with this one, which looks rather stupid. But we're going to go with that one for now because I, I don't have any better options. Let's start out by just checking out these big old tires here and see if, if they're any good. But you know what? That's a big nope. <laughs> so I'm thinking we're just going to keep it in this shape for now. And let's just let's just take this for a spin as well. I quite like the looks of it. Uh, we're also just going to grab these headlights because I'm pretty sure that that is actually the correct headlight for this car. Now we might want to put it there. So we can take this car for a spin before the night hits us and we have to go to sleep. So ignition on car driving we don't have a speedometer in this so we're just gonna have to go off our our gut here and say is it quicker or not just gonna run down this rabbit apparently not we didn't hit it that's fine though so this engine should be in a good shape considering the fact that we just took the old engine uh, it's just about whether this feels better to drive than the other one it definitely feels like it's it's driving well on the road even considering that we have one dirty wheel that we probably should have changed before we started doing this but man this car feels quick this feels so so quick. I'm definitely liking that. Let's just turn around. Come on, turn. Oh, ow. I didn't mean to do that. Did we lose anything? We did lose a door. Let's just bring that with us in a side mirror. We probably need that too. Get that back. Right, so we made it back here. There it is. So I'm going to go to sleep. And when I wake up again, we're going to give these cars a good wipe down and just make them look as good as we possibly can. Because that way we can proper assess them and choose which one we want to go for for our future travels. Right. So our current car is looking decent at the moment. So we're not going to have to do too much to this one in order to change it up. I don't know. Is there anything down here that I need? No, there is not. Then we just want to have a quick look through these. So I did not mean to do that, but now that we did it, it's okay. I just want to start out by picking up the brush here because we need to brush down this door here if we want that to look any better. So just going to do that. There we are. And we're going to give the rim here as well. I think we can make that a little bit better. Don't remember. Nope, that's only purely for rust, I think. So that should be all of the rust gone. But what about the red one over here? Do we have any rust here that we need to remove? We actually have a door here that's also kind of rusty. I feel like the brush probably lost its brushing potential, judging by the fact that it's not really doing brushy things anymore. But then we're going to pick up the sponge here. And I'm hoping that, you know, this one should just be... A good wipe down and then that should be okay there we are look at how shiny it is already i don't think we can get it any more shiny than what i don't remember if we have to do anything else to this door or if we can just wash it down like this i feel like we might need some of that cleaner spray in order to do this now the rear here also just needs a good quick wipe down as well there it is and then we got this door so this guy's looking pretty shiny already which is nice we didn't have to do too much work to that one and we have to go over here to the red one because that one needs a serious wipe down as well oh i think we used up this brush as well what a shame let's go see if we can find some more in here i feel like i came somewhat unprepared for this task so we're just gonna take this car for a spin while we go search for some extra car parts I do see a watchtower right out here, so I'm hoping that we can just climb that thing and hopefully find just any location close to us. 
And while there's no location here, for once, there's actually a gun here. Now, we don't really need it because we already have two revolvers, so it's not really that gun that we're trying to, uh, hard, trying to find. But it is a gun regardless, and I'd like to just stash it, so I'm gonna grab it anyways. The only thing I see in the horizon right now is just a couple of sh- Did I forget to close the fuel tank? I think I did. Oh, whoops. Let's close that. I probably should have taken my own car, just not to make you guys too biased by driving one of the potential candidates for our new car. But uh, just ignore the fact that we are having a blast cruising this thing right now. It does kind of worry me to go this far away from where we were before because I don't... Oh, that's a massive rock right there. Um... Yeah, so I'm just hoping we didn't break anything. I don't really know how I missed that, but I did. So let's not talk about that. Oh, all this effort just to put an old rusty car into a somewhat decent shape when we already have something that we could be driving right now. There it is. To my great, great excitement, I see that it's a water tower. I'm just going to drive straight to it because I actually see a house down there as well. So we're just quickly going to see what this thing has. And if it has anything of value, we're going to take it. If it doesn't have anything of value. Okay, so a quick sweep of the area. I cannot see a thing in here, but judging by the looks of it, I don't think we have anything of value here. Now I just want to get into this, turn the engine off, get on the back seat, and just go to sleep. All right, and would you look at that? <laughs> it was literally on the other side of the hill. So this is a small gas station. As long as it's, it's just big enough to have whatever we need to restore some of the other cars here. I'm just quickly going to jump out. Okay, I see a sponge, which is going to make the red car look shiny again. So at least that's a good thing. Thing. And do we have like a fancy color here? Nope, that is a rather boring color. We've got something that looks like a gold bar, so I'm just gonna bring that as well. Put that there. And nothing else was in there, but I feel like I saw I have another house down here. So I'm just gonna drive down here. I do not, however, know if it's far away or not. You know what, let's just go in this direction for a bit and see if we can spot anything. If not, then at least we got enough to make the red car look good. So I just drove down here for a bit and I honestly don't really see anything and the road is taking us up again but before we could actually see quite a lot of the ground out there and I didn't see any houses so so coming back to the road I, I see a gas station down here I feel like this thing is a bit too parallel with the water tower to be the one that we visited before uh, so I'm just gonna stop here quickly there's a tire out front and a bumper no that's definitely the one we visited before so i think we just about see the place that we were at before now i'm just hoping that all of the old car parts are still there because I'm, i i've never driven somewhere and then gone back to an old place before so i don't know how much of it it, it actually removes even if it removes anything or if it just keeps all of the old junk in there oh god Right, so let's have a look. Our old car is still here. The red car is still here. Things are looking good. Beautiful. So let's get into the trunk. And apparently the sponge is gone. Oh, hold up a minute. It's down here. It just fell out. <laughs> How lucky is that? I just went to pick up. Okay, relax. The bonnet. And then now would you look at this? There it is. All red and shiny. How beautiful. Okay, so the three candidates in question is the car that we arrived in here. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say about it. It's... It's ugly, okay? <laughs> then we got the Lightning McQueen over here. Red, lovely looking car. I don't really know what else to say about it because we haven't really had the pleasure of doing much with it since I didn't really have the parts available to fix it up. So that's something we're going to have to do in case we choose that. Then lastly, we got the White Lightning over here, which honestly is probably the most complete looking car out of the three. Of course, we would grab all of the extra spare parts over here that we have and bring those on for our future journey but those are the three candidates so guys please let me know down below in the comments which car we should go for for the future of our road trip here thank you so much for being in today's video see you next time bye bye